Welcome back to Grow It's Free Training Series. I'm Pornima Vijay Shankar, the founder of Femgineer. As a founder, you've probably heard of the elevator pitch, right? Where you talk about what your idea is, the problem that you're solving, who your customers are, and maybe how far along you are with your idea. But what I've noticed is a lot of founders don't talk about their own personal journey or their founder story, as I like to call it. Now, this is a big no-no because when you don't share why you're working on an idea or what your background is, then you don't provide credibility. So it's really important that you come up with a founder story and have it segue into your elevator pitch or talk about it right after your elevator pitch, especially if you're in a meeting with investors, potential customers, or even potential employees. To give you a simple example, here's my founder story. I start with something like, Hi, I'm Pornima, the founder of Femgineer. I started Femgineer as a blog back in 2007 when I was the founding engineer of Mint.com. At the time, I wanted to write about my experiences building a product and getting into entrepreneurship. And after the acquisition, I had a lot of opportunities to speak and teach all of my learnings. So I decided to take my blog and transform it into a business. And today, Femgineer is an education company where we teach techies like yourselves how to build products and companies. So you see, I've incorporated my elevator pitch into my founder story. I've given you a sense of what I'm working on, but I've also given you a little bit of background into who I am, why I'm credible to be working on this business. So give this a shot yourselves. And a couple things that you want to keep in mind are keep it short. Talk about the credibility as it relates to the business. You don't have to give all of your credentials, like where you went to school or all the different companies that you worked at, unless they are extremely relevant. And then immediately segue into what it actually is that you're doing, your elevator pitch. Now I've got a challenge for you. I want you to share your founder story with me in the comments below. I'm gonna read through every single one and give feedback on them. That's it for today's lesson, and I'm looking forward to reading your founder story. So let's talk about Indonero. What inspired you to start it? Um, so Indonero, in a nutshell, yeah. we're helping businesses with all their accounting and all their taxes. So we replaced the accounting uh, team, the entire like full-time staff we'd have, we're a bookkeeper. And we take care of all of the back office for a company. And so I started that because in high school, I was working on a business and I didn't really know what I was doing. I tried to hire a bookkeeper, an accountant, a tax person, and I was really bad at managing my cash flow. And I just thought, how great would it be if there was a company out there that could just handle all this for me? I don't need to interview anyone. I don't need to piece together my own solution. And it was an idea that I could get around, that I could be passionate about. It wasn't just a money-making idea. It was a idea where I had experienced the pain myself. And so that's why I decided to go this route. 